Hi friends, I am Ali here again with a new video of Python tutorial. Today in this video, I will teach you you some input and print method, different types of input and print method actually. In the previous video, I have taught you the basic print statement and some knowledge about Python. So in this video, I will have to go further now. So without wasting any time, we will go to the PyCharm IDE. Now, first of all, I will tell you the methods of taking input. So first thing you have to do since I am doing some mathematical work. So I am importing one library. I will tell you further what actual libraries are. But for this time, you have to remember that you have to write this whenever you are doing some mathematical work. Now I have written from math import. Now starting our basic work, we have to write any of the variable I am taking here a you can take any of the letter or string in which we have to store the input we want to get from the user anything you want to get is input so you have to write input opening the parenthesis and in the quotation you have to write what message you want to show at the time when you want to get the input from the user so i want to show the message to the user that enter your age now one thing i will do here is i will write int since it will give the value of integer by the user now in second variable b i have will store b is equal to 65 now i want to print one thing that is print the age is age is now i want to show the output in the form of print statement what user has entered and been stored in a so i will write here a like this now i would like to show another print statement that will be the the remaining years until your retirement is now i will write b minus a here you can see now i will run this code i go to run click one scratch 177 as it is 177 now i have printed the statement now here you can see it has asked me enter your age as i have written this statement in the input line I will enter 25 so here you can see it will execute both print statement the age is 25 which I entered and then it has shown after subtracting 25 from B which is 65 it has shown that the remaining year until your retirement is 40 so this was the first method which I told you of input now I will tell you another method how can you take two items in a single line here you can see name and age now with the same you can write input enter your name and age as I have written now only one thing extra you have to do is since you are getting two things in one line so you have to write dot split that is a method i will tell you later what actual methods are and libraries are which are more complex concepts of python so for here you have to write this now you have write this now i will go through print name print age you have seen that now i will run this code again so first of all it will execute first statement like this now you can see it is asking me enter your name and age i will ask ali and giving some space i will write 25 so here you can see we can get two things in one line of input this is a very important and powerful weapon of python now i am getting towards the some other concept which is a printing method how you can print differently in python first of all i will take a equal to 6 b 
b equal to 6 sorry 5 and c is equal to 4 c is equal to 4 now i will write print a i will now what i have do is copy it and again now print c and here i will write b now executing this statement you can see that 654 has been printed on each separate line i have written nothing about how it can print on a single line on a separate line so you can see it is default of python that whatever you give to print it will print it in a new line so what to do if you want to print it on a single line here i will tell you a new method of pi of uh, printing that is after first letter of print you have to write this comma then you have to write and equal to and double quotation now giving a space between a dual quotation means that it will have gap between the second and first of the print or output statement in expression now here again i will give and equal to double quotation and space now you will see that these end will write the 654 in a single line now i will show you how running this statement you can see the difference that's it you have seen the difference by taking the end and using this you can simply have the output in a single line now i again one more thing which i have to show you about the print statement is let us take the string value in our variable sorry now i have take a is equal to not a number this time i will tell hello and in the letter b or variable i will take world now i don't have to print it on a separate line i want to print it on a simple line and the single line so i will use one thing that is add operator when you uh, when you combine or join two strings in python on a single line it is called concatenation i will repeat concatenation you can see how it works i would write first of all i will store it in like this a plus b now i will print we would print c this is now what will it do you can see here right now yes you can see that uh, it has printed not on the separate line the hello and world instead it has printed on a single line which is hello world so here were some very good powerful tools of python and small tricks by which you can have your clean and clear code of python this was some basic trick and in further videos i will go in more detail and that hope you like this video like this video and also subscribe my channel and also subscribe my channel this is my channel tech park you can subscribe and like this channel and share this video as well hope you will find it helpful i will come back come back again with a new video so this was all from my side thank you so much guys